Let's start this chapter on polynomials by answering the basic question what are polynomials? You must be wondering that what are these polynomials? Now I'll tell you polynomials are a special type of algebraic expressions. Now what are algebraic expressions? They are nothing but a combination of variables and constants. So let's start with answering what are variables and what are constants and then we will look at what are algebraic expressions and then finally we will come to what polynomials exactly are. So let's look at what are variables. So in a particular situation the parameters of that particular situation which are changing are known as variables and the parameters which define the situation and are constant are known as constants. For example, let's say we are supposed to find the area of a square whose side is 4 units. So we are supposed to find this particular area of a square whose one side measures 4 units. We know that the area of the square is nothing but side into side or side square. So in this situation it would be 16 square units. Now what if the side of this particular square was 7 units? Then the area would have been 49 square units. And what if the side measured x units. In that case the area would have been x square square units. So here x is nothing but a variable. This x can assume a lot of different values. It could either be 7 or it could be 4 or it could be 3 or it could be any other number which represents the side of a square. So here x is nothing but a variable. What if I told you I had to find out the area of four such squares. In that case we would have just said that the area was 4 into 16 square units in the first case. Second time it would have been 4 into 49 square units and finally when the side was x units it would have been 4 into x square square units. Here this number 4 is constant in all the cases. It does not change. Hence in this particular situation we can easily say that x here is a variable while this number 4 is a constant. So now that we know what exactly are variables and what are constants, we can easily define what were algebraic expressions. Algebraic expressions were nothing but a combination of variables and constants and also exponents of those variables. So for example, here 4x square. 4x square is an algebraic expression. Similarly, if there was 2x plus 1 by x, this also is an algebraic expression. How about 4y square plus 3z minus 4? This also is an algebraic expression. Here, as you can see, any algebraic expression is a combination of constants. I am circling the constants in red. It's also a combination of variables. So I am circling the variables in blue. And as I said, it also has powers or exponents of variables. So for example this. So this complete thing 
is nothing but an algebraic expression. Now one thing that you would have noticed is I have used x, y, z and I sometimes use w as well to represent variables. In some cases I may not know what the constants would be. So for example if I did not know how many squares were there I would use another alphabet to denote that constant term. So I denote constants by using alphabets like A, B, C and so on. So variables are usually denoted by these alphabets while constants are usually denoted by A, B or C. Now that we know what algebraic expressions are, we will look at what are polynomials. So polynomials are just a special case of algebraic expressions where they are again a combination of variables and constants and also the exponents of variables. Correct? But here the special situation is that these exponents should always be whole numbers. That means if I have a polynomial in the variable x for example x square plus 4x minus 3. This is an algebraic expression in the variable x. Here the variables are x, x while the constants are 4, negative 3 and the exponent here is 2 while the exponent here is 1 and these are nothing but whole numbers. So this expression can be classified as a polynomial. Let's look at some more examples. Help me classify if 4x cube plus 3x square minus 4 is a polynomial or not. It definitely is an algebraic expression because it has constants, I can see variables and I also see exponents of those variables. But is it a polynomial? Let's check it out. So 4x to the power 3. Here the power of the variable that is x is 3 and it is a whole number. So yes. Then 3x square. Here the power is 2 and it again is a whole number. And finally I have 4. I can write negative 4 as negative 4 into x to the power 0 just because x to the power 0 is nothing but 1. So here the power of x is 0 and we know that 0 is a whole number. So this particular algebraic expression is definitely a polynomial. Let's look at another one. How about x square plus 1 by x. Now here I can write this particular algebraic expression as x square plus x to the power negative 1. Here if you look at the exponent of x it's 2 which is a whole number but when you come to the second term here x to the power minus 1. Now minus 1 is not a whole number it is an integer but not a whole number. So this expression that we had is not a polynomial. This does not classify as a polynomial. We look at another example. How about under root x plus 4 times x to the power 4 minus 3. This is an algebraic expression. Now we have to find out whether this is a polynomial or not. So if we look at the terms here and here, we can definitely say that it's a part of a polynomial. But what about this term here under root x? Let's see. So this whole expression can be written as x to the power 1 by 2 because x to the power 1 by 2 is nothing but under root x plus 4 times x to the power 4 minus 3 times x to the power 0. Yes. Now here 
the power of x is 1 by 2 here it's 4 and while here it's 0 I know 4 and 0 are whole numbers but is 1 by 2 a whole number no it's not so this expression is not a polynomial I hope you're clear about which algebraic expressions would classify as polynomials and which will not. 